Okay, the camera's dying too. Beautiful. So, we have no power as of yesterday, mid-afternoon. Not even mid-afternoon, right in the afternoon. It was at 1 o'clock. The power went out. It's hot. Last night was an interesting experience. You want the camera so bad. We walked to the supermarket to buy ice. Look at me sweating. We walked to the supermarket to buy ice because everything... We just did grocery. We just got groceries on Monday and the power went out on tuesday wednesday tuesday i don't know the power went out on tuesday today's wednesday so i'll let you see it okay 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 I wasn't gonna vlog today. I came up with a bunch of excuses why I wasn't gonna vlog, but you know what? There's nothing else to do. So we've actually been here without power for like two days, I think. It's been like two days that we don't have power here. So that's great. Today is Thursday and I don't think we're gonna get power back. If you go on the um, power website, it says that we won't have power till the 9th and I believe today is the 6th, 7th? Excuse me, Avery. No, thank you. Can I have that, please? So, yeah, today's the 7th. We are probably going to be out without power for another... No, today's the 6th, right? What's today? I don't even know. Today's the 6th. So, we're not going to have power for another three days. It's projected. It's an interesting experience. I feel like the most annoying part is not having the air conditioners or the fans. It's definitely an adjustment. I'm not having power for two days already and then another three days on top of that. What are you doing? Avery, come eat your lunch. But um, here we are. So the first night, it wasn't so bad. It was a little hot. Um, last night was pretty hot. Like I got out the shower and instantly started sweating. Avery. So, um, more so for Avery because she sweats so much, just in general, she just gen like just runs hot. So we ended up staying by my sister-in-law's house um, and she slept pretty good because of the air conditioner. So I think tonight, it's supposed to rain again today. Um, Avery, it's supposed to rain again today, but that does not belong in your mouth. That was gross, huh? <laughs> No, uh. Are you done? Okay, you're done. Why are you spitting it out? You're full? Your belly's full? Would you like some apples? Here, I have apples for you. Yeah. Why are you spitting it out like that? Um, I'm gonna try to actually 
cook today because I haven't cooked in about three days, which is frustrating to be honest because we've been having to order food out um, because the stove works off of electricity. Um, but if you actually, if you, okay, if we turn on the stove, um, gas will come out, but the flame won't. So if you put a flame to the burner, um, like it'll turn on. But I didn't have any type of fire to turn the stove on. So we've just been ordering out, which sounds nice in theory, but it's really not because First of all, it's not healthy to be eating out all the time. Second of all, it's just frustrating for us to have to spend money to order food out, especially if we know that all our groceries are going bad and then we're gonna have to like do groceries again. It's just really annoying. So I made her pasta, which is what she was just eating, and then that's what we're gonna have for dinner. Too. That's what we're gonna have for dinner too. I'm gonna do that with like a Parmesan um, crusted chicken because we need to use the chicken. I don't want that to go bad either. So I'm gonna try to use, utilize everything that I can now um, before it goes bad because I'd rather just like make it and then obviously. <sighs> oh God, okay. Just went through the freezer. There was a bunch of stuff that was still frozen yesterday obviously but since we have no power it's gonna defrost there's so much food that's gonna go to waste okay i'm hot i'm cooking but avery's relaxed right now so making some parmesan chicken some stuffed shells you gotta make the best of the situation that we're in what are you doing i think i need more coffee i don't even know what time it is What are you doing? <laughs> You're pooping. Is that why you came over here by yourself? To go poop? Let me help you. I feel better? Yeah, you like the support mommy's giving you during your poop session? You done? Yeah? Well. So I haven't vlogged in, um, I don't even know how long, but this is day, I don't know, of quarantine blackout. So, today's my mom's birthday. Um, couldn't do anything, I was gonna bake her a beautiful cake, but we can't do that, so. My sister-in-law ended up getting cupcakes, so I'm just gonna put candles on this. Shout out to Fefa. <laughs> so I'm gonna light the candles and bring it out to mom. Birthday to you. I'm exhausted. Will you brush your hair? Ooh. I am so tired. Like four days, four or five days, it feels like. Um, it feels like I have a newborn again, and it's not even her fault. Um, so, as you saw in the earlier clips, because this vlog has been all over the place, but as you saw in the earlier clips, um, <laughs> we had no power, and I, it, it was like almost six days that we had no power, and really, and it was rough. <laughs> so, um, I think it drained me, like, just... Why? I have a teething toddler that just has a major attitude. You hear about terrible twos, I don't know what's going on. I think we're, we're going through that super early because she's not super, super bad. She's not bad. She's not a bad baby. <laughs> she's um, not super, super grumpy, but she's definitely pushing her limits. Um, we had a cooler of ice with a couple of the things. Um, that we had in our fridge to save, one of them being coffee and creamer because that's super important to me. <laughs> so I got home and I made a big jar of coffee and it's slowly bringing me back to life.
so grateful and appreciate it. Just the smell of the coffee just gives me shivers. It's a problem. It really is. This vlog is going to be all over the place. It is all over the place. But for some reason, I feel like I've lost weight. Even though I've been eating a bunch of sugary things and just been craving sugar. I've been stress eating like crazy. In my brain, anyway. Because I want stuff, but I'm not getting it. <laughs> I've been, like, stress craving. Is that a thing? I don't know. But I just, like, want sugar. I want ice cream. I want chocolate. I'm, like emotionally just at my breaking point and I'm exhausted I want to chug something really cold like really cold water I had a gallon of water every day super cold in the fridge and now we didn't have a fridge so I couldn't just bop around with my super cold water it would get hot so I'm grateful that everything is like slowly gonna come back to normal but yeah, uh, let's see if I pick up the camera again today. We'll see. Um, if not, this is gonna be the end of the video. Um, and we'll be back when I'm more sane.